Hi, I'm Nathan Hegstrom, the entrepreneurial lead for the VLOX Valves team. Hi, I'm Tom Chase, technical lead for the VLOX Valves project. For the last few years, Tom and I have been working in our nanotechnology building, developing techniques to fabricate our valve, and working in the mechanical engineering building, developing test methods to characterize the valve's performance. We had a pipe dream that if we could build a high-performance piezoelectric pneumatic valve, then customers will come. After talking to a few customers, we realized it was going to be no field of dreams. We needed help. Hello, I'm Ted Angelo, the industry advisor for VLOX Valves. I met Nate at a business advisor group meeting. He had a very intriguing technology but was looking for help where to take it next. We flew all over the country to meet our customers. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. In Florida alone, we traveled over 500 miles to meet with just 13 customers. We met with cleaner engineers, valve manufacturers, and mass flow controller manufacturers. We were elated for the opportunity to speak with the global marketing manager for the world's leading producer of valves. However, we were devastated to learn that after years of investment in a technology similar to ours, they abandoned it. But we weren't ready to give up yet, and off we flew to meet more customers. We traveled to the International Aeronautical Congress in Washington, D.C., the Process Industry Conference in Houston, Texas, and Semicon Europa in Munich, Germany. Our pivotal interview was at the 2019 American Vacuum Society Conference, where I talked with a marketing manager from a company called Hariba Scientific. He told me that over half of their device costs was attributed to the cost of their control valve. This was our epiphany. At this point, we went back to the drawing board to reevaluate our business model canvas. i taught me that commercializing an innovative product begins two steps ahead of the process that I have taught in senior design for three decades. 